And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope you're all doing well this evening as we continue with some more Portal 2. Um, I'm just going to see how far I get tonight, depending, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at puzzle games. I'm not going to brag about it, but we're just going to uh, see how uh, tonight goes. We might be able to get to the end of the game tonight, or we might continue just a bit longer till uh, next Friday as well. But thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. And Scarlet, thank you so much for the 29 month resub. You're an amazing friend, I love you, and thank you so much, I really appreciate it. She's the one keeping all of you in line. Please, send her lots of love, lots of hugs, because she deserves it. <laughs> mm. And hey everyone, how's it going? Chat, good to see that everyone is doing well this evening. Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh, I felt that right between my shoulder blades. Uh, <laughs> always good to get those done. Start of each stream. And Kali, oh, thank you so much. Um, I know you've been by before, but I think it's been a while. Thank you so much for coming back. And hello, Samuel and Zanjlu Carmina. I hope you're doing well, guys. But let us continue. Everything is fine and not terrible, and Wheatley totally didn't stab us in the back. Not at all. And Tiger Lily T, how's it going, sweetie? Oh, Hayden, you're too kind. You're absolutely too kind. Like, honestly. I was so exhausted today once I finished work, and I was like, I, I'm so fucking tired. But then, once I'm doing like my little bit of makeup that I do before I uh, jump on camera, I was just like messing about, and then like my eyeliner came out perfect, and I'm like, oh, tonight's gonna be a good night. When I get my eyeliner just right, I it immediately lifts my mood a thousand percent. Oh, Carly, you have nothing to apologize for. It's all good. I'm just really, really touched that of all the streamers you could choose to watch, you choose to come and hang out with me. Ah, there we are. And this one is the fun game called Find Every Scrap of blank wall that you can. I do remember this area kind of doing my head in a little bit, but we'll see how things go. Is that, can I get over there? Oh, Snake Sosa! I'm not used to watching live yet, so I missed Sunday, so I had to wait for uh, VOD. Glad I could watch today. Oh, thank you so much for joining us tonight, Snake! Where the hell am I supposed to go? Yes! Yeah, this part of the game kind of does my head in because a lot of it's just like, let's just find that one patch of wall that's painted white a million miles away. And that's, this is where the zoom comes in real handy. And it's just a matter of finding... Over there, for example. The do not enter sign is really, really enticing. Okay, um... Or did I come out from there? Let me just check. Mm. Let me check again. I think I came out of there, so I'm supposed to be going somewhere else, I think. I think I came out of there. Again, this section kind of does my head in a little bit. Where the hell am 
I supposed to go? What did I come out of there? Nine. Let me just have a look around again. So I think I came out of there, but now I have to go into the do not disturb area. Okay. Again, this section does my head in just a little bit. But I will get there. Yes. And then you head towards the do not enter, keep out, do not disturb signs. Oh, Tiger Lily, I hope the little munchkin is doing okay. <laughs> hey, Mike, how's it going? Welcome back. But yeah, I knew tonight was going to be a great night when uh, my eyeliner came out just right and then when I was uh, taking photos for that, um, like the social media post I do when I go live and I took a couple of extra ones because I'm like, I don't know what it is about today but I'm feeling extra good. My camera is like getting all the right angles and I took a couple of extra ones I might post on social media a little bit later. Not tonight but spread out over a couple of days. Oh, I remember this. I have to be smart with this. Okay. And then... I think... Okay, yes. There we go. Oh my god, yes, Salva Holder. I am so excited to play Cult of the Lamb tomorrow. Like, I've been waiting for this game to come out, so I'm just so excited to play with you guys. All that drama for just this tiny little door, but then again, it's, it's a portal game, of course. <laughs> Sadiola, oh, I get the feeling. Like, actually, thinking about it, I forgot to take my motion sickness pill um, before starting uh, the stream, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, trust me, you're not the only one. Um, when I first, when I played the first Portal, like, I could only play for maybe, like, an hour or something like that because, like, the motion sickness and going through all the different portals, especially the ones that kind of are at different angles and then tilt your perspective, those did my head in so bad. <laughs> Ah yes, murder water. But also, Sideola, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Feel free to stay as long as you like. If Portals 2 is not your cup of tea, then it's all good. We're only going to, uh, going to probably be playing Portal 2 for maybe tonight and maybe um, next week as well, depending on how things go, but feel free to stick around. Oh, Sam, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I think so long as like I take a, like a step back every once in a while to just kind of like have a bit of a mental breather, then I'm fine. Don't you worry. Okay, let me just check down the hallway first. Is it just me or does Steph give off dorky best friend vibes? Uh, Scarlet, can you confirm this? Do I give off dorky best friend vibes? <laughs> I just, I just like nerdy things and I'm, from what I heard, apparently I'm pretty chill to be around and um, so there's that. Okay, Scarlet can confirm. Yes, I give off doggy best friend vibes. Uh, 
<laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Science, baby! Are you guys ready to just, like, aggressively get into science tonight? Because I sure as fuck am. <laughs> Notice, please excuse the inconvenience. This elevator is out of service until blank. Hmm. That's concerning. And yes, this is J.K. Simmons. The god himself, J.K. Simmons, who I love so much. So I am very excited. Because I haven't played Portal 2 in quite some time. Okay, so we need to get over there. Um, okay, time for science. Okay. That seems about the right angle. Oh god, I hate heights so much. Muzak, thank you so much for the... <laughs> For the subscription! For three months in advance! Thank you so much, Muzak! I really, really appreciate it! Thank you so much for joining us tonight and for the incredible support. Thank you! And yes, perfect. Hydrate check, uh, Hayden? Hmm. And yes, if you just wanted to hear J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson in a video game, like, fuck yes, you're in the right place. Okay. <laughs> In honor of Olivia Newton-John and for the effect it will have on the rest, Mike, can I please get your rendition of Tell Me About It, Stud? Science! <laughs> I hope that was acceptable, Hayden. Thank you. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these re-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. And that is the handsome devil himself, Cave Johnson. Oh no, I sent the chat into a tailspin again. How terrible of me. What will I do? Because, I mean, you can't- you guys can't expect me to behave myself. It's my stream, goddammit. If I want to quote iconic movie lines at the request of my lovely, lovely fans, then of course I will. Fucking ashtray, goddammit. Wait for an attendant to begin lift. Ha! I need no attendant. I have science on my side. Oh, Stripe Lord. I love horror games. I played Resident Evil Village uh, last year in, I think, August. So yeah, I play a good amount of horror games. It's just I'm not a huge fan of uh, jump scares, so I won't play things like Five Nights at Freddy's or like the Slender Man games or anything like that. Um, but I love a good horror game. And I've played Bioshock, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. I love the Bioshock series. I actually have um, some, uh, fuck, what do you call them? They're like, uh, like limited edition uh, props, like mem memorabilia sort of things. Like I have um, uh, a plasmid on my uh, my drinks trolley behind me. <laughs> okay, science. Time for science. Okay, now.
Sometimes I forget how good you are at melting everyone here. Well, the thing is, I do need to use it sparingly. I am now very well aware of my power. And, you know, I try to use it responsibly. Try. Can't make any promises, though. Okay. So I need a long-distance fall for that. Which is back over there. Okay. I think this was an area I got stuck on for the longest time when I first played this game. It drove me absolutely fucking insane. But... You live and you learn. And you learn. And you remember. And sometimes you get so frustrated with the puzzle that the solution to it is burned into your mind. <laughs> Baron, I don't plan on changing anytime soon. In fact, like, people who've been watching me for a while could probably attest, like, over the years I've just become more and more comfortable being myself, because, um, like, definitely when I was first starting out, I just wasn't comfortable being on, like, not just, like, on being on camera, which is something that didn't come about until, like, I'd been streaming for, like, two and a half years or something, because I used to stream off camera. Um, but yeah, over the past, uh, because I think I did my face reveal in 2019, I think. So it's been a couple of years, and over time, definitely I've been feeling much more comfortable in my own skin, and I'm just so happy that you guys are here to watch me play games. And... Science! Sorry, I'm, I'm going to try not to do that every time I make a long jump, but I love doing it. <laughs> Know your hazardous chem materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. Have binged a lot of your content in the past two months. Your confidence has grown so much. Thank you so much, Snake. I really appreciate that. Because I'm not sure who it was that pointed it out, but just like... It wasn't until like a fan... I think pointed out in one of my streams like uh, they were really enjoying me seeing me just so much more relaxed and just uh, just more comfortable in my own skin and all that good stuff and yeah it really means a lot that you guys just like me being myself because a lot of people um, like online content creators um, a lot of the time they feel like they have to put on a persona or just take their own personality but like turn it up to 11 in order to be entertaining but this is just me playing video games and chilling with you guys <laughs> so it really does mean a lot to me that uh you guys are just like you know what you're a cool bean we like hanging out at the blue rose respite Is this right? Oh. Hayden, you know... It has to take a special kind of event for the Reverend of Requiems to make an appearance. Like, um... Ooh, I don't know. Uh, the DLC for Resident Evil Village coming out? Or something like that? I'm just... I'm just spitballing here. Oh. God damn it all. That's, that's on me. That's on me being an idiot. So I forgot to jump. There we go. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Hey, Phoenix, how's it going? Oh, Muzak, I try my best to get people's usernames correct. Uh, sometimes it is a bit of a garble of um, 
uh, letters and numbers I'm not quite sure how to pronounce, but I really try my best to get pronunciations correct. Just because I tend to draw in a bit of an international crowd because of the time zone I stream in, so I just try my best to be respectful and get people's names right. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. I am... <laughs> I am so fucking glad that they got J.K. Simmons to be in this game because I don't think these lines would be even half as fucking funny if it were not for his performance and his reads and as a voice actor I admire the guy so much bouncy okay okay I need a box I need a box Then another try. just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Hmm. I like it here because it feels like a bunch of friends hanging out. Yeah, honestly, I try and keep my, uh, keep my streams very chill. Except for occasionally when I throw like a complete curveball of spice just to wake you guys up again. <laughs> I, li I literally can listen to Cave Johnson lines on a loop while working. I think probably someone's like put all the lines together, more than likely has put all the lines together into a YouTube video. But I'm wondering, has someone taken all the lines and then set it to like chill music you can study to? To study science to. God damn it. Okay, uh, I need to be heading up, so where the fuck do I portal to? Aha! Science. Quick check. Okay, I think this is right. Don't think I'm supposed to be in here, but okay. Mm. Now, where the frickety frack cheese and mac do I go? For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Thanks. save points for sheep. Yes, I did uh, have a look at the Twitch integration for um, Cult of the Lamb and it looks to be okay. I think I've sorted it out. Just because yesterday was literally launch day for the game, so they just had um, a couple of things to sort out, but that's all good. What the... Get back here.
mean? I say we'll, weird shit on streams all the time. Have I not said frickety frack cheese and mac yet? <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised. I'm sure I probably said that in another stream, but now, now that I think about it, maybe not. Maybe that's a new one for me. I say it to myself sometimes when I'm frustrated or like to kind of get my brain working again. because I just need to jump down. There we go. Oh, Science. In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Hey, Game Brain, how's it going? Glad you could drop by tonight. Feel free to chill with us and stay as long as you like. Oh, Tiger Lily, thank you. You're so sweet. Science. I'm making good headway with these tests. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of an early pat on the back for that. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I don't know why that line gets to me, but god damn it, Cave Johnson. Oh, quality time. Thank you for the stretch check. Ooh. Thank you. Sadiola, I ha have tried a little bit of Subnautica, because what I do um, when deciding... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Hello. Um, when I'm deciding on a game to stream, I usually play like the first 10, 15 minutes or something like that just to see if it has like a kind of a good hook and if I feel like I can play it for a good couple of hours because I tend to play games that are either like short little uh, one shots that I can just do the full game in one stream or ones that I'm happy to invest like a lot of time into playing over a couple of weeks, if not months. Um, so yeah, I tried Subnautica. But I had a feeling it was going to be a game that would take up just a little bit too much of my time. Like, it would just be a bit too long for, like, the kind of uh, games that I like to stream. And I'm not saying it's a bad game or anything like that. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Because it felt like a game, like, similar to other beautiful games like Stardew Valley, where I would want to have, like, a full day, like, regular stream, entire stream series um, uh, dedicated to it. Then again, I kind of did that with Darkest Dungeon, but that just, that just happened to work out the way it worked out. Oh, uh, tonight I'm actually drinking just uh, ginger ale, because I'm not drinking any alcohol for the next few weeks before I go over to the States uh, for San Japan. Mm. Mm -mm. And also because um, next week... Um, I'm going to see an amazing photographer and get some new headshots taken. So I wanted my skin to be extra nice, extra clear. So no alcohol for me for a little while. And also every so often if I find like I'm getting a bit more dehydrated or I'm not feeling so good, I'll then like maybe do a dry a uh, couple of weeks without any alcohol. Because I enjoy a good drink. I very much enjoy a good drink. But I'm a very responsible drinker. Ha! <laughs> 
I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Okay. Let's make some science, baby. Subnautica is fun, but you can spend three to four hours and done pretty much nothing to advance the game. Yep. Honestly, like, with a lot of games where it's about, like, building, like, or doing, like, little things every day that steadily grow more and more over time, for me, I prefer to feel like a sense of progression in the games that I play. Like, usually that it's more, like, narrative focused and stuff. Okay, where do I actually need to get this blue to go? Thank you so much, Art Phoenix. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I'm very excited to see all my friends again because it's been a long, long while. could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Um, Samuel, that's why I think Subnautica Below Zero might be bad for you. It's just following a storyline. You could even turn off the survival mechanics and just do the story. And that's an interesting idea. I thought um, Sub-Zero, sorry, uh, Below Zero was more of like an added DLC in that it was like adding more features and areas to the pre-existing game, but I'll, s I'll check it out. Because the thing is, um, I'm not afraid of many things. Like, there are very few things in this world that genuinely scare me. But there's something about deep sea, like, physically being under the ocean and seeing it through a first-person perspective. I think it's called, like, thalassophobia. When you see, like, those videos of, like, sharks coming towards divers from, like, out of the murk of the water, that freaks me out. That genuinely scares me. So, I would probably get more scared playing Subnautica than any Resident Evil game now, could ever scare me. if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. There we 
There we go. No, uh, Below Zero has its own map and story and voice characters. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Good to know that they still follow some laws here. The laws of science and time travel. Okay, what exactly do I need to get to? I need to head up in a general that way direction. Oh, okay, I think I know what I need to do. There we go. Hmm. It's all good, Samuel. Well, like, Gifts of it don't scare me or anything like that. It's just that if I was playing it in a video game and my attention is on the screen, no, I think I just end up like squ squirming in my seats and trying to get away from the screen as much as possible. Just <laughs> no. I'm sure you don't fear a lot of things. You come from a country where literally everything tries to kill you. You know what? You are absolutely right. Like, there's very, very few things that freak me out, but the few things that scare me, I think, because I went to the beach so much when I was growing up, it's always that fear I think every Australian has of, um, you, you go out swimming and, you know, it's perfectly fine, everything's fine, but then you just see something coming at you from, the, from under the ocean. No. No, 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 no. So that is, like, for me, a deep-seated fear I've had since I was a kid. Some blue. Yeah, honestly, I think even, like, um, because I think I watched Mark Player play uh, a playthrough of it, but that game that came out a couple of years ago, Soma, where it's, like, the science station that's deep below the ocean, like, deep on, like, the base of the ocean, and it's all about, like, AIs and the duplication of personality and all that. Amazing game. I will never play it, though. I think I might even have a copy in my Steam library, because I was like, okay, maybe I should give it a try. But then I was rewatching a playthrough of it, and I was like, no. No, there is no way I can play this. Because, yeah, especially towards the end when you're walking about, or even, like, when you are just physically walking around the science station, and you have to be, like, under the water, and it's just endless void, and, like, little part water particles. No. No, 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 no. That's nice and blue. Actually, I wonder. Okay, there we go. Where do I need to get to? Mm. 
like so much it looks like such a cool game and I would love to play it but I think I would if I was gonna play it it would have to be off camera because like I would genuinely be freaking out so much and I'd have to play it in very short intervals <laughs> Oh, Snake, it's all good. Like, sorry about that, guys. It's all good, it's all good. Horror games aren't for everyone, so don't ever feel forced to play a game if, like, even if it's, like, everyone's talking about it and it's like, oh, you yeah, have to play it. Ab absolutely have to play it. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. And it's okay. Because everyone likes different types of tea. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Oh. Because, yeah, the aesthetics of this feels like the 60s? Kind of 60s, 50s, 60s science vibe, so... Blue cube. Come on. Bath time for the cube. Oh, don't get me wrong, like... Like, the Lassophobia, I... I think it is so cool when it's done in like movies and stuff and like I think there was even that movie that came out recently the sea beast that had a moment like that that I was like oh I I really like that but at the same time no thank you like I, w I definitely want to watch the sea beast and that gif was just like oh oh that's cool Oh, that's really, really cool. And it's definitely like a horror that I find genuinely like creepy, so... Yes, yes, yes to that. Mm, the science. Hey! Science isn't about why, it's about why not! Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Thank you. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. 1967, I believe. Thank you, Hayden. Post-atomic age seems correct. Yeah, that's about right. It's like 60s for the lowest level, and then you move up like a decade at a time. You climb your way from the lowest steps back to the modern lab. Because yeah, uh, it does change the, the aesthetics as you come up, doesn't here it? Listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready. So as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Oh, Say goodbye, you. Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Oh, thank you for the hydro, Jack Hayden. I was just refilling my glass. If you love science so much, why don't you marry it? Hashtag first it. Oh yeah, I'm all good. I was just refilling my glass uh, with the last of my ginger ale. Elevator to surface. Come on. Shit. Handsome devil. And yes, Caroline is indeed the best. Did I literally just come out of there? Of course I did, I'm an idiot. Okay, where do I go? Okay, so I can't get through, I have to be able to go up then? 
Where's that section of blank white wall? Sweet Caroline. Bam, bam, bam. It's all good, Phoenix. I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Cause the power you're supplying. Electrifying. You better shave up. Cause I need a man. And my heart is set on you. You better shape up, up. Cause I need to understand. Uh, okay. Okay, so it needs to be blue portal. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Those kind of camera angles just do my head in just a little bit. Ah, yeah, this is definitely feeling a little bit more 70s. Hmm. Must be something. Yes, there we are. Pump station beta. Oh yeah, I've heard that um, that version, Baron. Control room, good. 1971. There we go. We're starting to head to the 70s. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test related. Science. And I'd like to make 60 bucks. I would very much appreciate 60 bucks. My, I'm sure that is a very legal $60 yacht. Oh god, this is depressing. There's just something about 70s architecture that... Especially desolate 70s architecture. I think it's that whole, like, liminal space thing. It's, like, really cool, but kind of... Spooky at the same time. Okay. Shrikaka, how's it going? Have you played Control by any chance? No, but that is a game that I have put up for vote um, to play for my Friday streams before. So I do have a copy of it in my uh, Steam library, but I haven't played it all the way through yet. I think I'm saving it for uh, the chance to stream at one time. So yeah, I haven't played it yet. Tiger Lily Tea, babies, I've got to go. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, tonight, Tiger Lily, and you take care as well. Hope you have an awesome weekend. And yes, we should play Control. It looks so good. And um, the uh, soundtrack to it was done uh, by my favorite band. Wait, hang on. Let's 
too far. I think that's fine. I see the prompt, but I'm choosing to ignore it for now. I don't know. I think I could do it on my own too, Angel's Purgatory. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Mm. This power totally isn't going to my head. Not at all. Oh, it's you. Like, you guys keep saying, like, I should just, like, embrace the power. Let, like, all the power go to my head, but... Are you guys sure you're ready for that? Are you sure you're deserving of that? Seeing me at my full power is a dangerous thing indeed. Baron, you don't know how true those words are. <laughs> Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? It's okay, GLaDOS. We'll figure this out. And yes, listen, if we don't resist, it's not as fun when we break. Thing is, I don't want to break you. I really don't. I just get a sixth sense of satisfaction watching you squirm. That's all. Nothing weird. <laughs> and that is a very fair point. I, uh, we are playing Cult of the Lamb uh, on Sunday, so letting power go to my head is probably just a good way for me to get in character. Oh, come on, okay. Time to get speedy for science. Awesome. 
Amen, Medloid man. Amen. Come on. Oh, I know you're in the mood for french fries, Mike, but come on, then we lose Gladys's wonderful voice. There we go. Mm. Oh, okay, I think I remember this. There we go. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Pick my voice, Baron Alistair. Serafina, please. She's my favorite and I haven't heard her voice in a while. Well, it's cer 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 certainly a wonderful thing that you requested me to come back. It's been some time, hasn't it? Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Well, that's a curious development, isn't it? I think this might be the first time that someone's actually asked for me to come back. It's been quite some time, hasn't it? I've been so busy tending to the Countess. Sadiola, thank you so much for joining us tonight. You have a wonderful week ahead. This seems like a better way. Let's give this a try, shall we? Wait, I think we need to do orange first, then blue. Of course, I'm a little bit biased towards blue. Such a pretty shade. Like the roses that grow around my mistress's castle. Concern yourself. 
I'm but a humble automata. I work tirelessly to please those in my service. This is right. Storyteller Bree, it probably fits quite well because both this interesting creation and myself are synthetic in many ways. Let's give that another try. But even clockworks need recharging. Oh. Don't worry. I always find a way to w w wind myself up again. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna... Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> listen on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Hmm. Wasn't that curious? <coughs> excuse me. Oh, please excuse me. If you're that interested in an additional sixty dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Mm. Thank you for the hydrate check, Hayden. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a little bit of uh, ginger ale went down the wrong way. That is the price I pay for allowing myself to indulge in such shameful luxuries. When I should be busy working. This is right. There we go. <coughs> oh, but that does come to the end of that. Pick my voice. Thank you so much for requesting uh, Seraphina Baron Alistair. I really hope you enjoyed it. I haven't done Seraphina's voice in a long while, so thank you so much. buttons on the other side. <clears throat> Thank you for the hydro checks, guys. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Mm. Mm. I did. I've been using her in my Vampire the Masquerade campaign, so I thought it'd be nice to hear the OG voice. That is awesome, Baron. Thank you so much for the incredible honor of involving one of my characters in your campaign. That's so cool. get up high to do some more science shit I think or do I ok 
Okay, so with that panel up... Okay. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I think. Come on. Come on. Want to basically rebuild the castle blue roses, but with a few neonates thrown in at the uh, at the deep end, and watch my characters unknowingly tilt the scales in the countess's favor. One of them had his memories altered by her to be a willing slave. It was great. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds so so cool. Hell yeah. Oh balls! I think I know what I need to do. Okay, give me a second. I needed jumpy paint. There we go. That's better. Then, yes, okay, I think this is right. <gasps> no, you're gonna get me in trouble. I said a bad word. No, in case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. I think this was also one of the few games that I was playing that um, uh, my mom would linger in the background because she just loved the dialogue so much. So when I told her I was actually streaming Portal 2 again, she was like, oh, I remember that. It's such a good game. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking you. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Ladders, you've been very quiet. Oh, it's so cute. My mom did the same for Portal 1. <laughs> Honestly, they're such good games. Okay. Okay, I can still kind of get back up there. I need paint, though. we go. Ooh, yes, yes. All of the paint.
science, baby. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Oh yes, here we go. This does make me, um, it makes, I do wonder why they have the white paint back when they, the portal gun didn't exist. I think maybe because maybe white was more of a sciencey sort of color. Um, so maybe it's just like they had the same industrial level of white paint to kind of uh, keep all the decor uh, consistent for science. Yeah. Welcome to the enrichment center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Your attention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less 70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Please do not test if you are allergic to lunar sediment, uh, allergic to lunar sediment and or starch. You have fulfilled your monthly self uh, test self election quota. You are confident enough in your work performance to unvolunteer from the test self election process. Everything's fine. I think we might actually get to the end of the game tonight, guys. We're making really good progress. Then again, we haven't started the next phase of testing yet, if you know what I mean. If you've played this game before. But we're making really good headway. Okay, 1982. Yep, this is definitely feeling more 80s in terms of the architecture. Okay, um... Exit. in the general that way direction. Oh, thank you for the stretch check. Uh, Hayden. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can literally like just paint this whole area in um, uh, the white paint and just like spend, try and get every last corner of it. Oh, but that looks about right. I always look for uh, like angle surfaces because then it's a good indicator that you are putting it in the correct place. Just have a quick check because I think that's angled so that I can jump out of there. Wait, how do I get? But I need to get from a high point, so I need to be able to get up there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this might take a second. I feel like I need to get to an elevated platform somehow, but I can't seem to get the way through there. Okay, this one might take a second. You're right. Ah, uh, thank you for that. I knew it was something I was forgetting about. There we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Finding people. He says what we're all thinking. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. 
All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. And that, my lovelies, was one of the most iconic sets of uh, lines of dialogue in video game history. thought I fell off for a second. Um, okay, white wall. Hang on. Need to find just the right angle. Oh no, wait. I think I remember. Oh yeah. Hang on. One second. Cutscenes for Carolyn being interned in GLaDOS is disturbing. I'm actually glad. I think it was J.K. Simmons said he wasn't comfortable and didn't record the lines. Yeah, that would be quite distressing for anyone to record. Okay. I need to find. Section of white wall, goddammit. Sorry if this is doing anyone else's head in. I'm just trying to find a goddamn section of white wall. Okay, hang on. Oh, wait. there. That's blue. Honestly, either one of them works. Okay. God damn it all. That's me being an idiot. Fuck! Oh! Okay, I got there eventually. Ah. Take a victory sip. Hmm. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity. Damn right. I do not like heights. I do not like heights. Okay. Okay.
There we go. So that drip stopped. Oh no, wait. I think I just jumped down. No, I don't. Hmm. Wait, maybe I do. Yes, I think I do. God damn it all. There we go. Okay, let's give that another try. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Eventually we got there. Actually, so I'll need a track in order to run up a bit to get speed. bounce off of that maybe mm, or not I'm not doing right Let me try and think about this. I need to get up there, so I need a section to bounce off of. So I thought it'd be that.
Yeah, it's that little dip that's throwing me off. Like, I don't think that's right. Hmm. So I think I need to paint more. So I've got a clearer track to run on. jump on uh, into the portal using that blue spot maybe yeah you can make a portal on any surface that's painted regardless of color maybe Sealed off. Okay, it's not enough to put a portal there, though. Hmm. Can I get any further up there? Apparently not. Yeah, and it doesn't quite get high enough to go through there. Hmm. Just trying to get it on this wall here. Come on. Maybe you're supposed to use the portal gun to smash the gate open. Unfortunately, the portal gun is a sensitive piece of equipment. And um, I have a feeling that would uh, greatly anger GLaDOS and she would not be too pleased about it. Huh. Yeah, this one's a real tricky one. Okay, come on. So I feel like I definitely need to get some speed up. Okay, hang on. Let me give this another try. Let me give this another try. Fine. Need more white paint. Okay. I think this is right. There we go. Okay. I have a bit more of an idea of what the fuck I'm doing. I need... I think I need more blue paint here. I came up through there, so I don't need to go back down there. I do need to get over there somehow. Mm. get 
far enough. get more white paint up here but it's just not how do I get that come on. come on brain do your thing See, I think I need that full charge again, but I think I know what I'm doing now. Okay. There we go. Eventually we got there. Oh, thanks for bearing with me on that one, guys. That one was a bit of a tricky one. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Enthusiastic with science on that one. Let's give that another try. Damn it! I know these. This is what safety rails are for, but I don't want to be safe. I want to make science. kidding me. Okay. You guys didn't see anything. I was just distracted trying to make science happen. First try. <laughs> oh, we eventually got there. Okay. Oh, but that really did my head in, not gonna lie. Uh, so we probably won't be finishing this game in its entirety today, but let's get to the end of this uh, section. And then I think we'll save, like, the third act for next stream, if that's okay with you guys. Because, yeah, that, um... Oh, that's giving me a headache. Mm. 
Okay, where's a high enough vantage point? I just need to get over to that way. That might be high enough. Okay. What am I doing wrong? It needs to be a clear point for me to be able to jump down to get far enough. Let me just take another look again. Unless... No, I can't get anything from down there. Hey, Frosty King, how's it going? Welcome back. Science is going well. We're making progress, which is what science is all about. So we need to get to the gel pump station, but what am I doing wrong? Need to get... Okay. Yes, that's high enough. That's high enough for science to happen. Okay. Exit portal there. Wait, I've got an idea. Oh, really? That poster. Go look at it for a second, would you? Paradoxes. No AI can resist thinking about them. I know how we can beat him. Ah, uh, yes. The old paradox solution. Aperture will expose people to asbestos and poison, but at least they have safety rails. <laughs> Damn right.
Oh. It feels both good and weird to be back. Just some good old fashioned testing layout. Everything's fine. Everything's good and perfect and fine. But I know it's a little bit early, but I kind of want to wrap things up here because we're getting into the third act and I kind of want to save like the next stage of the story for next stream just because we're probably going to still have like an hour and a half left. And um, honestly, those last couple of puzzles really did my head in. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, there might be another hour or so, because some of the tests that are coming up are really tricky. That will probably take me a little while to uh, complete them. So just, I want to pace myself a little bit with this game, just because some of the physics of it just bend my head a little bit. So it's close to two hours. If it's good with you guys, I might wrap things up here. I'm sure GLaDOS wouldn't mind. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good time to wrap things up and then we can save chapter 8 and beyond until next Friday. So, thank you all so much for joining me tonight here at the Blue Rose Respite. I had a wonderful time as always. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following me. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to join me next Friday for the grand, con uh, the epic conclusion of Portal 2. But also, please join me on Sunday because we will be starting a new game that I am so excited to play. We will be playing Cult of the Lamb. I am so excited for it. If you are not familiar, it's a similar kind of uh, villain, village building game with uh, some aspects that are very reminiscent of uh, the Binding of Isaac and a little bit of Hades in there as well. So I am very excited for that. I hope you can all join me and be sure to check out my other socials that are in the chat right now, including my Twitter for important updates, uh, my YouTube for my ASMR tales and my Instagram for lovely pictures. I'm probably going to be posting some more pictures um, either tomorrow or in a couple of days because I, I took some nice ones tonight. I'm very proud of. Um, Binding of Isaac meets Hades meets Animal Crossing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let's all raid Zoran the Bear. Please sure, please give him plenty of love from the Blue Rose Respite because he is a cool and awesome bean. But thank you so much for joining me tonight, guys, for some more Portal. I can't wait to see you on Sunday for Cult of the Lamb. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys.